Hi everyone, Flo here. Welcome back to another video. This video will be unscripted as I just got the information. So yeah, please forgive me about my own experience. <laughs> anyway, uh, recently there has been a video about the Lentotoli situation three weeks after the actual climax. And it's about both sides of the story. 30 minutes analysis. Uh, about very deep conversations and seeing this actual video was very satisfying for me satisfying as I finally got the answers I was looking for because there was something more than something bugging me about the original video Lentoli Exposed made so yeah uh, I really suggest you to watch this video I will link in the description the video made by oopsie very well made video i really suggest you to watch it and if the link in the description doesn't work i'll put it in the pinned comment but right now this isn't my problem uh, i went to the comment sections after watching the video and i won't do a resume here resume or a summary because they already explained it very well enough so i'll just uh, i went straight to the comments and I saw that already Big Gadget 2 was uh, reacted to this video. And I'll read some comments for you right here. Big Gadget 2 was such as literally Yoan, not Zoe, Silent Princess, and other verified channels have actually reacted to this video by commenting on it. And there was apparently also Millie, but unfortunately she deleted her comment because she didn't want it to be noticed. And Literally, Yuan said, I can confirm the screenshots are true and all evidence shown are not fabricated at all. Honestly, I was disappointed and at Lennon totally, even now, for what he had done. But we could see here that the entire situation isn't as black and white as the original exposed video has shown. Both the girl and Len aren't wrong. They talked about trauma and depression like it was a joke. People with legitimate mental health issues are suffering and they are using it to sensationalize an issue. If that is isn't disgusting, I do not know what. What Len, what Len did was wrong and exposing him was right. But, if it's, but it is never right to make stuff up to gain people's sympathy. So basically the original exposer made a cover-up by saying and gaining people's attention by pitying them and maybe manipulate them, but still. Uh, now let's move on to not Zoe's comment. I'm actually not quite surprised about this news. Ever since watching the exposing video, I've always thought something was fishy and that there had been another side of the story. And hence the reason why I stayed neutral and never commented or posted a community post. I'm so glad that this video came out, which now confirms that both of them are at fault. Not just Len. I just hope the victim realizes that it's also her fault and that she exaggerated her backlash from the grooming. She also made bad decisions about still continuing things while with Len while dating someone and not taking warnings from her friends. Again, this doesn't excuse Len's actions either, but at least now we know the truth. Truth. Hopefully, all of you guys will develop a new understanding about the situation and not solely follow other people's opinions because you're afraid that they'll hate you for it. You are allowed to have your own opinion and if your friends can't understand that, then they aren't your true friends. If you didn't understand what Nat Zoe said in this comment is that uh, the victim was actually trying to be with Len while there was some uh, other feelings towards someone else. It's actually very complicated to... To explain especially to young children but let's say that the victim was uh, confused uh, into her feelings whether to go with someone else or with Len and she was also lying to her friends she was also uh, warned by many of her friends that doing this with Len was uh, wrong but she didn't listen and went totally with it yeah that's it so let's move on to the uh, another comment made by Silent Princess. 
Disclaimer, this is my own freedom of speaking my opinion on this situation. I'm not into both sides. I will focus my opinion on the victim. What she did to him was very quite speechless. And the fact that she had the guts to lie even to her closest friends. And the fact that she provoked him on doing such explicit stuff is something not a 14-year-old girl would do. But at this video, you can clearly see that she has a very mature mind on this kind of things. She doesn't look traumatized at all anyways. She even got a boyfriend at the same time when she still had feelings for Lynn. Seems like she was two-timing them at the same time. So disappointing for a 14-year-old girl would do. Hopefully she learned her lesson and that she's also at wrong, but I'm not saying that to the victim only, but to Len as well. Again, I'm not into both sides and it still doesn't change that both of them are at fault. So now you can clearly see that there was uh, a problem in the exposing video. It wasn't truly uh, representing both sides of the story. It was actually, actually focusing on what Len did, but never put into context what happened before. Uh, the actual conversation. Anyway, uh, moving on to another screenshot and comments made by Viera. I've been actually waiting on this one as I knew from the beginning that there is much more to the story that the original video showed. I admit what happened was pretty shocking for the entire community, but now I'm hoping that people will finally get to understand the truth. All I'm hoping for is that some people would understand that they said was wrong and that the situation will calm down after some time. You know, I'm still receiving some comments on my Lentily video asking me to stop spreading the drama when they didn't even watch or check the description uh, in not the date. So yeah, I always have to explain to them, please check out the date this video was made. It was made three weeks, three weeks ago. So please just stop and try to focus on the context this video was made. Anyway, moving on to another comment. I've always knew that both sides were at fault, not just Len. I just didn't want to talk about it since I can cause more drama and people don't want to blame the victim. Len admitted to the, his mistakes, but what about the victim? The victim was the one who started it and Len had to go along with it even when he knew it was wrong. If she was traumatized, why didn't she just block him or, I don't know, ignore him? Instead, she, did, she just did those disgusting things. Kind of immature for a teenager to do that. Len should have stopped her but didn't, so he's also at fault. I'm not siding with anyone here. The only person... Uh, I found who actually went straight forward and was very honest with her opinion was Yoshi Yazuzawa. <laughs> I actually knew it, it wasn't just like Len forcing a young, immature, and close girl to do and show stuff for him. If you look into screenshots and all carefully, she knows what's happening and seems clearly okay with it. She's not clueless about what's going on, and this video is the proof of my thoughts. Like. I had since when this case was released like isn't isn't it sounding being okay with what's happening saying i'm not complaining continue in the screenshots but then exposing len and saying he groomed me about suspicious and weird being young doesn't mean i'm innocent i can't wait to be 18 so i can do whatever i want with len she knows guys she's not that innocent and pure about this incident like you think Yes, I know Len could have just said no and stopped her, stopped talking to her, but she went along with it, and this was not right. We can all agree about this. But just blaming Len is not right either. Len committed a pedophile, pedophile behavior, all, we all know, but letting the other hand getting away with it, and sending other hand, and sending other death threats, hate is not right. Stop. Since the video is quite recent, uh, not a lot of big gadgetubers maybe were awake at the time. For example, me, when the video was posted, I was totally sleeping, so I didn't know what was going on until now. And, well, we have to wait to actual people uh, knowing Len privately, like friends or uh, big gadgetubers, to actually react to this video or comment about it. So yeah, 
If you want a part two on other big YouTubers commenting on this actual video, please let me know. I'll link the actual original video that I mentioned in the description and if not working in the pinned comment, like I said before. And I seriously hope you learn from this. Never trust, never trust a video. You need to know the full context and you need to know both sides of the story. Anyway, that's all. I hope you all uh, enjoyed this video. I don't know if I could say enjoy because this is very serious. Uh, but anyway, have a nice day or night and stay safe either on the internet or in real life. Bye!